Round-shaped, velvety skin of different shapes and colors, an extensive array of sweet, juicy, and pleasant flavors. Well, the peach in my view, because it's my favorite fruit, is a very delicious fruit that even though it's not originally from Colombia, because we've adapted it to this weather, especially to cold and dry climates, it's a delicious fruit with a very attractive flavor, color, and form. It seduces you to eat it. It's a fruit that, generally speaking, is very delicious, and its smell is especially attractive. The peach has its origin in ancient China, where it was considered a symbol of long life and immortality. It was a fruit that came from China, which was then adapted to Latin American soil, Chile especially since that is where it's cultivated the most, although in the United States too, particularly in California, where there is a high production of peaches, as well as many varieties. In Colombia, it's cultivated mostly in Boyacá and in some colder areas here in Antioquia. It's not a very commercial fruit. It's basically for home consumption as well as local markets. Ice creams, desserts, salads, cakes, salsas. It is a versatile, delicious and pretty fruit that can be served by itself or prepared with other fruits or products. I can eat a peach cut in half, filled with salsas, purees, pâtés, a variety of products that are either sweet, salty, or spicy that can contrast with this fruit. The peach, in Spanish durazno, is one of the most popular types of fruit now cultivated in colder climates all around the world. Thanks to the continuous effort to improve it genetically, it has evolved greatly from its original state to what it is today. This fruit has more varieties than any other, with new crops with better characteristics propping up. In Colombia, we have been cultivating peaches for the past 300 or 400 years. The seeds were first brought here by the Spanish, and those early varieties have slowly been replaced by improved ones, all originating, however, from different parts of the world. Many of our trees at this farm originate from the University of Florida, a place that began a study on how to elaborate plants that could adapt easily to the tropics, not the tropical climate we think of, such as the climate on the Atlantic coast, but a tropical climate similar to ours, where heights range in between 1,800 to 3,000 meters above sea level. This orchard is located at 2,100 meters above sea level. The temperature during the day ranges between 25 and 32 degrees Celsius, while at night the temperatures are usually around 10 to 12 degrees Celsius. Here, you can find around 1,100 to 1,200 trees per hectare, with distances in between plants of around 1.2 meters and rows of around 5 meters in length. Some of the varieties are Florida King, Tropic Beauty, Tropic Sweet, and Diamante. Here at the farm, we have recently tried the Gran Jarillo, and it also seems like a variety that can adapt. However, the length of its flowering cycle from one harvest to the next is much longer than our varieties. Our varieties normally flower, produce, and reproduce during a span of 180 to 210 days while the span of the Gran Jarillo cycle is of around 250 to 280 days. The peaches at this farm are all varieties that don't require much cold compared to others that require colder temperatures. However, the cold is a genetic condition that all peaches have because they come from climates that have seasons and during the winter, all the deciduous plants the peaches and the apples shed their leaves in order to survive the winter. And so these species that are so used to seasons don't adapt very well in Colombia. As
As consumers, when we arrive to the market, we're hoping to find a product that is well presented. That's why a good post-harvest handling is important, so that the product can always reach the consumers looking good, compact and without any bruises, ripe, with a good aroma, inspiring us to buy it. All food products, or all foods, can have many qualities from a nutritional point of view. If we eat healthy, we can prevent a lot of diseases. In the case of the peach, the peach is a fruit that gives us vitamin A in units of retinol, which is extremely absorbable, in other words, 100% absorbable. It has a bit of calcium, not as much as milk, but a good contribution of calcium that is easily absorbable, as well as a medium quantity of phosphorus, and, as a fruit, it also contributes with fiber, which is important for the digestive process. Delicious, nutritious, pleasant, versatile and healthy. This describes the peach. I invite people to try the peach. For example, there are people who can't eat acidic fruits, for these generally produce gastritis problems. When you have these kinds of health problems, the peach is a non-acidic fruit fit for, let's say, all types of people. Even small kids who we are just introducing food to because the peach is a non-acidic fruit. What attracts me to the peach more than its taste is its aroma. It conquers me, it captures me.